Okay, this is on the silicon carbide hot surface igniter. This is what it looks like when it's out of the furnace. We've got it mounted in the furnace and we're going to show you what it looks like when it's on and how to keep service it. Now we've turned this on and we're going to be watching this hot surface igniter warm up uh, to light the burner. We're not going to let the burner light, but it's, it's going to be warming up here in just a sec. Okay, looks like it's pretty well warmed up now. Uh, burners would normally come on. You're looking for white spots in that thing. If there's any real bright, not white spots, but just real bright yellow spots, then that means it's about ready to fail. Okay, now it's turning off uh, because we did not light the burner. Okay, here we're showing the hookup for the hot surface igniter. It's uh, your plugs right here and your hot surface igniter screwed in right there. We're going to go ahead and check the ohms on this thing while we're here. Okay, there's my plug. Okay. You can see that I have unplugged that plug and I put my probes from my ohmmeter across the two wires going into the hot surface igniter. Okay, I've got the meter hooked up and running about 7980 ohms, which is pretty normal for this thing. Um, if it was running 150 or higher, we would probably consider replacing it. That's not a real accurate number, about 150 but it's a number we usually use on these things. Now if it read oh well like it is reading now, then that means the uh, hot surface igniter has failed and the furnace is not going to light. Okay, and that's a service procedure for uh, the hot surface ignition, the silicon carbide hot surface ignition.